So let's see. I want to make sure we're ready. Because it said it's setting up our meeting. So I want to just make sure okay. that we are there. And I, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And I think we're live, Shelly. I see live on my end. Oh, good, good, good. So first of all, I want to just welcome and welcome you, Shelly, to my VIP group. So thank you very much for doing this. Um, but I wanted to start off and just kind of introduce kind of why I wanted to do this. Um, so this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we always talk about it and we're like, okay, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Let's do some kind of fundraiser. And I'm like, you know, this is real. Um, I, I had an aunt that had breast cancer and I will let you all know. And she passed from that, which is, you know, that's things happen there, but she was, a, um, she really went through a lot with that. But I thought to bring meaning and clothing to this was I wanted to talk to somebody that's a breast cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. And so this is Shelly Wild. She's actually on our team, um, which is very new, very new to the team. And as all of you all know, my son generally comes into the room whenever I'm having a jewelry party or whenever I'm live. So Shelly, do not worry about that um because that happens right uh -huh. <laughs> when you're live you never know what happens right so the only thing i wanted to start off shelly can you please um you and i were having a conversation gosh it seems like a month ago and you were telling me you're a breast cancer survivor and i wanted to say you know understand a little bit more about that so could you just kind of share your story a little bit well first i just want to thank you for um having me and giving me you know, some time to, to share my story with others. Um, so I was diagnosed at age 37 um, with stage 2B triple positive breast cancer. Um, it, was, it was very hard for me. It literally shook my world. Um, it was completely unexpected. Um, so I actually discovered it. Um, it was by accident. I was um, one night, I was just laying in my bed and I went to roll over on my side and I just so happened to, you know, nick the side of my breast and I felt a lump there. And I would say within a week, um, I had received that call that nobody wants to get, you know, informing me that I did have cancer. Oh so yeah, it was very unexpected. Um, and like I said, it's a phone call that you never want to hear. It's a word that you never want to hear the cancer word. It's, it can be very, very scary. Um, but being that this is breast cancer awareness month, I did want to sit down and talk with you because I am a survivor and, um, I just want to give other women hope um, out there who might be, you know, battling cancer, breast cancer right now. Um, and that, you know, just so show them that there is life after a cancer diagnosis. Yes. Now let me ask you this question. And this is, I mean, we're, we're just live and I'm, I'm, I appreciate you sharing your story because sometimes it can be hard, but like, like you said, it can give people hope. So when you said you found out that, did you immediately go get that checked out? Um, was it something that was large or was it something small? Did you just immediately go take, get a mammogram? I, yes. So I immediately, um, they sent me for a biopsy um, because it was, it was fairly large. I mean, I could feel it. Um, so I immediately went for a biopsy and within a couple of days, I mean, actually, whenever I was in the biopsy room, um, I already knew. Oh. I, I just, I, I really had a feeling, you know, that I was going to get a, you know, a positive cancer diagnosis. Just that, was it, is there history in the family? Because yes. they, they ask us that question a lot. Do you have history? Is that in your family? Yeah. So there is a history of breast cancer on my mom's side of the family. Um, my mom never had it, but my grandmother on my mom's side did. And my aunt also, um, she actually had, was diagnosed maybe uh, not even two years before I, I was, but she's, you know, she's in her sixties. Okay. So okay. She did have a breast cancer diagnosis as well. So uh, let me um, add, go oh, ahead. So, and, and it's interesting because a lot of times people find out that they have breast cancer or they don't know, right. 
and we always say go get a mammogram. Um, is there any advice or guidance that you would just share with people to say, because you've been through that, what would you share with them to kind of give people advice around um, breast cancer? So one thing that I've learned um, going through this, uh, like I said, I was diagnosed at age 37. I, along my journey, have met a lot of young women who are in their 30s. Um, I've met women who are diagnosed in their 20s. It, it's, a very, it's a very common thing. We just don't like to talk about it a lot. So my best piece of advice um, for especially women who you know, are not at that age where they um, should be receiving mammograms yet um, is to do a self-examination and do it quite frequently. I think that's your best bet. Um, if you do have a history of breast cancer in your family, I would call your insurance and see if you could get um, genetic testing to see if you have a gene, you know, that will make you prone to getting breast cancer. Um, and then see, you know, possibly if you can start getting mammograms at an earlier age. But I think the self-examination is one of the most important. Okay, good. And Thank you. It's also important to note too um, that I know I'm from right outside of Pittsburgh, so Allegheny Health Network. They offer something called 3D mammograms. So a lot of times, um, women, especially who have um, thick, very dense um, breast tissue, a regular mammogram will not um, pick up on cancer. There, there is a chance that it wouldn't pick up on if you did have something. So, you know, requesting a 3D mammogram is also very important. Good tips. I appreciate that because especially the one about genetics, I didn't even think about that one, right? Mm -hmm. so that's good too. So, so here's the other thing. So there may be people that, like myself, I'll say this, when I found out my aunt had breast cancer, I was distraught. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then you're like, how's the, you don't know what to say. You don't know what to do. You just like, I'm here for you. Is there, a, um, and I know everybody's different. Is there a way or something that you can say around supporting somebody, helping somebody through that? Is there anything that you would share around that? Or that you can even think of? I mean, it's, I know that's kind of a bizarre question or all, but I'm just thinking about that because somebody may not have it, but a relative or a friend, you know, and you want to be supportive. Any kind of thoughts around that piece? I know for me, um, and, and this could be different for everyone, I would say, you know, the first thing that I asked everyone around me to do, um, and like I said, everyone is different, but I did not ask for anyone's sympathy. Um, when I was going through chemotherapy, if someone wanted to come and sit with me during my sessions, I asked them not to cry. Um, I think that the most important thing is that you not offer your pity, but you offer your strength to that person going through um, you know, this journey. I think it's really important. I didn't want anyone's pity. Um, sometimes you know, life gives us and hands us things that we don't know why it happened to us. Um, but I would say, try to stay as positive and upbeat. And like I said, there is hope. There are so many different drugs and new therapies out there that, um, you know, you can have a really, really great life after a cancer diagnosis. Um, some of the other things that did help me, um, my family would come over and they would help me clean my house. I mean, I have three kids, so they helped me clean, they helped me, um, they set up meal trains so I didn't have to worry about cooking meals. So those are some other ways that you could help anyone going through through chemotherapy. And obviously pray. Right, good, good, that's a good, that's a good one, right? I put that one up at the top <laughs> for you for folks. And it's funny, you said, um, show your strength to them and not the pity because they're going through so much already. So that's good advice. Um, because sometimes you don't know. You're like, let me sit with you. But you're right. You don't want anybody to pity you. Now, I like the part, come over and help clean and cook. I, <laughs> I kind of want that even if I got a little cold. Uh-huh, it does I, help. I, whenever I don't feel like doing any of that, I wouldn't mind somebody to do that. Um, but I do say this, Shelly, I, I, I just thank you for sharing with us. 
because a lot of times people don't know or doesn't feel as real because it's not them. And we talk about self-examinations, even just because I knew we were going to do this today. I was in like an, up this morning, like, let me do my little checks. Let me do my little checks. And I'm like, you know, when was the last time I really did the check before this? Right. And so making sure that I am conscious of that and putting that in the forefront. Now, Shelly, I know you've done a lot of different fundraisers and I want to share with the VIP group that, as you all know, I put out there that I'm doing a fundraiser around breast cancer awareness. I will be going live this weekend, really uh, you know, promoting the whole Breast Cancer Foundation party with a purpose that I'm going to be doing. And so I will be showing different pieces. I will be giving my portion of my commission towards breast cancer awareness. And I will share the details around that. I'll show the link where you can shop, but I'm also doing a gift with purchase. And I've asked people to send me someone that you know that's a breast cancer survivor. And they've sent me, I forgot, I've gotten a couple. I'm like, I know it could be some more out there. And I've actually just sent them a little gift to say, you know what, here's just a gift just thinking about you during this month and you are strong and you are a fighter and you've done it, right? And can be an example and share for others. So I think that is a positive thing to do, but just, I like to want to give back and that's a couple of ways I can do that. So I, from the VIPs in my group, I'm sharing with you that I will be going live, showing some jewelry and talking about the fundraiser a little bit more and sharing some pieces around that. So Shelly, I just want to thank you so much for your, your openness and just sharing your story with us. I mean, at the age of 37, I'll say I'm a little bit older than that. <laughs> and I, I, I'll be honest with you, I thought, oh, you don't really start getting that until you're older. And so that was an eye-opening eye opener for me. And I'm like, you know what? I think it would be great to hear from somebody. So I hope those that are listening, you've learned something that you're thinking about that and it was beneficial to you all. So it's not always just about jewelry, but this is also about education and really sharing with one another. We are women, we can share with one another to help somebody else out. So I wanna thank you. Let me make sure that I'm able to stop the live stream, but I do want to say message, ask questions. Um, Shelly will be around. Uh, I can have her answer any questions. She's on my team, so we can, I can easily connect with her, okay? Thank you, Joy, for having me, and thank you for giving the opportunity to share my story. I really do appreciate it. I really oh, do. You, that's a sweetheart, and she's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>